in the Northern Wood Fur Trader. Let's get right into this video. Alright guys, so today we're going to be starting a new series. I'm going to be calling it the Trapper's Vlog. Uh, so basically all this is, is, um, it's kind of like a vlog, but it's revolved around trapping. What is up guys, Northern Wood Fur Trader here. Today we are going to be doing our first trapping video. We'll be setting up some, a couple traps for some rabbits. I have a live trap and a 110 kind of bear. And I'll see you at the trap site. Alright, I am at the chicken coop right now. There's a coop just behind it and there is a trail right here kind of like a walkway. I don't think any rabbits have been here. I think it's just from me walking. But today, when I was back here earlier, I saw a rabbit dart out from right there and go all the way over there to that gate. So, I did a little searching around. I saw this huge trail right along that fence. right there. I don't know if you can tell, but came back here. Oh yeah, you can kind of see right there. Um, came back here and I saw this. Right back there is a big trail. So, pretty sure that's rabbit. So, I took a further look back here. I feel like back here is a really good spot to set up our traps. So straight away from hopping over this fence, you can see this trail that goes all the way down to there. And the sheep are out here, so, but that's definitely not a sheep trail. So I'm just gonna follow this back, because the sheep can't even go through there. Alright, so found a spot to place our 110. Um, rabbits go through there. There's part of a trail right there and part of the trail right here. So I'm going to set it right here. So first thing I'm going to do is take a short T-post and take this chain hammer it in right here. All right, now that we have our stake pounded in, I'm gonna go ahead and set our 110. There we go. I'm gonna make a little open area. These guys. Now what you're gonna want to do is get two chunks of apple, put them on each little spike on the trigger. All right. So that's all it is. Apple on there. It's good stuff. Now on the live trap. Alright. So we set up our live trap and all we're going to do is put apple slices in the back. Now let's head back up to the house. Come back here tomorrow, see if we caught anything. Alright guys, it is the next day. We are going to go check our rabbit traps, see if we got anything. Alright, we're coming up real close to our trap site, and oh man, that sucks. Set, they tripped it and they took the bait. Oh, look at that groundhog! Oh man, look at that guy! All right, you like that like apples, groundhog? And there we go, guys. My first catch on my YouTube channel. My first groundhog. 
Um, I was actually going for rabbits to make rabbit stew. So I'm just gonna let this guy free. See, so yeah, let's set this guy free. Ooh, Milo's searching out the catch. Yeah, that smells bad, doesn't it? Alright, well, we're gonna set this guy free. This guy is like, what is he doing? Alright, so we're just gonna go set the trap again for tomorrow morning. See if we catch a rabbit then. Alright, now we're just gonna keep this trap here until tomorrow morning and see what we got then. Hopefully next time when it trips, I actually get something. Alright guys, once again it is the next morning and we're going to check our rabbit trap. Hopefully we got something. Alright, we're coming up close to our trap. And... Nothing. Man. Uh, apples are still in there. Trap's still set. Oh man, I was on my way back. This guy's yard is just full of Canadian geese. Now, if these guys were in my yard, I'd probably shoot them, because they can make some pretty nice steaks. I've always wanted to t try goose, but I guess the time is not yet for me. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's Trapper's Vlog. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like this series, uh, please leave a comment, leave a like down too. Uh, please share this video, that'd, be, that'd help a lot, um, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.